Hi, I'm John McManamy, and I live with bipolar disorder. I am both an author and an advocate. I'm here today to share with you what I have learned about getting along with your loved ones. This includes both family and that special person in your life. Let's get started. I'm not going to mince words here. People with our illness pose a major challenge to live with. Without exception, we have put all those close to us through hell. Yes, they may not understand us. Yes, they may say stupid things like, snap out of it. But here's the deal. If you continually act like a victim, you are doomed to lead a very miserable and lonely life. Take my word for it. We drive our loved ones crazy. We have worn their patience thin. We have driven them past the brink of frustration. We have raised their hopes only to dash them again and again and again. Trust me, they have every reason to turn their back on us. So now is the time to build up some goodwill. And to do that, you need to be the initiator. You might want to start by acknowledging what you have put them through and by thanking them for the patience and understanding. Demonstrate to them that you are doing everything possible to get a handle on your illness, that you are taking responsibility that you are not using your illness as an excuse for your questionable behavior. This will make them more receptive to seeing things your way. Namely, that recovery takes time. Be completely honest about what makes you upset, what pushes your buttons. They may not comprehend, but they may be able to make accommodations. Give them a heads up when you're having a bad hair day or if a certain situation is about to cause you considerable distress. They're not stupid or evil. They will adjust accordingly. Six simple rules, really. Don't act like the victim. Be the initiator. Show your gratitude. Acknowledge what you've put them through. Accept responsibility. Keep them informed. Surprise them, in other words. You, in turn, may be pleasantly surprised. There are no easy answers to family matters. I strongly recommend you do your own research. Establish a good working relationship with your doctor and therapist. Reach out to the people around you, find support, and become your own expert patient and advocate. This is John McManamy. For more information, visit Google and type in bipolar relationship issues. Thank you for watching and live well.